Hello guys. Today I came up with a very simple tutorial uh, on how to create the famous game Flappy Birds. Now in this tutorial I will tell you the basics of the game and then you can modify it and maybe you can publish it. Let's start with it. First of all, let's see what the game should look like after completing this tutorial. This is what it will look like. Alright, let's start with it. Uh, let's talk about the technical things first. The draw cards are only 20 and when the cubes in red, it goes around 8 saying which is uh, a low number for a mobile game. The maximum you can reach nowadays for the mobile devices like Samsung Galaxy or iPhone is the maximum 40 draw calls. So you have to keep on your mind the number of draw calls you're dealing with. Okay. I have one problem. I have not assigned the material, so I will assign it now. Okay, so let's start about the scene first. What is in the scene? In the scene, the, <coughs> we have the main camera. Then we have a player. Player is nothing, just a cube. We just play as at minus four zero zero, with a scale of one 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 right and it has a rigid body attached to it you can attach the rigid body by going to component physics and rigid body i have already attached so it will say you have already attached the rigid body so i cannot then i have mass of one drag of zero angular of 0 0.05 use gravity is checked is kinematic is checked off interpolate it is interpolate collision detection discrete and in the constraints I have freeze the rotation at X Y Z because I don't want it to rotate at X Y Z if I enable this it will rotate uh, very rarely in X Y Z axis and it will go all over to the screen and I have freeze the position of Z because it, we are making a 2D game so we don't want it to move in that axis. Okay, that is about the player. Now let's uh, first check the script that is attached to the player. We have made a simple script for the player and we have named it player controller. Let's open it. All right, now this script is attached to the player. All right. Okay. And what generally we are you uh, doing here is just to move the player. We focus in this part of the code. Now what it is saying to add the velocity in the rigid body <coughs> and here it is saying to add a force and we are applying a force here uh, <coughs> of 275 in x-axis and 200 in y-axis so this is the whole idea and this is how it is working to you know to move up there and in update we are saying if input dot any key down go to this move function if any key is pressed down it will go to move that means it will add a force in the y-axis and will jump and as it is a gravity it as it is a rigid body so it will fall down if we don't press the key again all right then we are saying or void on trigger enter collider other restart game if it triggers it in any other object the game will restart all right 
what will happen if uh, the game restart it will go to the restart function and in the restart function we are saying the time scale time will be 0 0.0 f then if this start button pressed which is in the start it is false if it is false then application the scene will reload so generally when it hits or when it passes through any object here we are saying to restart the game which is just restarting the scene all right and <clears throat> we are also placing the GUI here yeah why we are using the start button pressed logic so if the start button pressed is false this this part will not show right if the part is true yeah the part is true then the GUI text will do something will show but this means at the start of the game the start button pressed just a minute yeah the start button pressed is uh, is not false so it will display this but once we input the star button is sorry the star button pressed is false so it will display this but once we press any key down the start press becomes true when it becomes true this GUI part will uh, disappear and let me dem demonstrate this one at the start the this boolean value is start button pressed is false so if the is start button is false this two something to start will be there. when you press any key here we will just go because when you press any key is saying the start button press true since we are saying if it is false start button press is false then only display this so once we hit anything this becomes true and this start button uh, do something to start gui text will disappears okay <coughs> mm, then what we are saying here is nothing but we are uh, we are <coughs> saying the cube or we are we are making the cube to uh, to convert to the world viewpoint so the uh, cube always remain in the screen this is the script to saying that the cube always remain in the screen it doesn't go out of the screen if it goes out of the screen here you saying if this cube is go out of the scene restart the game so that means if the cube go up of the screen or the bottom of the screen as it cannot go to the left or right of the screen this is not not the like the this is not how the play world work so just restart the game and here at the end of the, this code we are just updating scores and I will tell you later about this so till here the whole code should be clear and don't be worried the uh, script <coughs> is available to download you can download it from the description now let's, let's check, uh, talk about the other scripts on the main camera I have this camera controller script uh, this is to the main camera and what it's doing is again to to make sure that all the cubes and the uh, you know the player remain in the scene so so here we have the target of player 